Hi, welcome back to Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit. In this video I'm going to quickly uh, change this pull cord over on this Mountfield petrol lawnmower. This is an, a Mountfield SP470 that I'm currently servicing. Uh, I'm going to change this pull cord, you can see it's been a bit frayed. There are only three parts to remove when doing this. We need to remove this part here, this one here, and this one here. For this job you will need some pull cord which I've got, it's 3.5 millimetres, I've actually got 100 metres of that and what's left you'll need a knife, a cigarette lighter, a clamp, uh, a 10 mil socket or a spanner and a broken ended flat screwdriver. Now all we're going to do with this is just take these parts off here, just undo these, just take this off. When you've got these three screws out of here, this simply just lifts off. You can remove this first if you like, you can just pull it all off together, and you can just pull it all off together, and then we'll just remove that afterwards. Let's take this pull cord off here. And now we've got this whole thing removed. The next thing I want to do is just pull this pull cord right out, as far as you can get it out. Pull it right out against the spring. I just usually push my fingers through there and stop it springing back, but be careful. You can see, like that. And that pulls it right out. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get the clamp, which is down here on the floor next to me, and I'm just going to clamp this recoil so this spring doesn't keep winding this cord back in. I'm just holding it with my thumb until the clamp takes over. And what, one little tip I've got is that actually in here where the pull cord lines up with this hole here, you want everything to be in a nice straight line now when you when you put in your pull cord back in you can just push it back through so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put pull this pull cord through here as you can see here I'm going to pull this through I'm going to get the knife I said you'd need cut this off I'm going to pull this pull cord right out of here the next thing I like to do is use this uh, broken flat-headed screwdriver here and just push this cord out through here and then I've got the cord completely out the next job is just to cut yourself a, a new piece of pull cord if the other one seemed like it was working okay and it doesn't look like it snapped I just generally make one about the same size adding a little bit extra on each end just to tie some knots I get the question a lot how much pull cord do I need well that's how I work it out uh, as a rough guide I would have said about eight or nine foot so um, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually burn the ends of this new pull cord just so it doesn't fray when we knot it. The other reason I do that just ever so slightly is that when I try and push it back through this recoil in a minute it means it isn't all bumping it, I can get a nice point on it and it makes it a lot easier to push back through, in fact I'll show you that now. If I take this here now and I push it in, I've actually got to get this through this little gap here, can you see the little gap where it's come through? Well, if it's nice and sharp on the end and everything's lined up with the clamp it comes through really easy and I can just pull that through I generally put two small knots in it and I'm going to push that part with a knot in back into one of these notches here back on this recoil I usually put a couple in there just a couple and pull them really tight together and I just pull this back through here and I just like to push this all down in here and I'm going to just get a screwdriver and I just push push these parts back in here and make sure they're nice and flat I've never had a problem with one doing that way some people use one knot it's probably enough but I think if it's securely housed in there and everything's nice and tight it's not going to cause you any problems when it tries to recoil itself once you've got to this position don't take the clamp off leave it as it is get the other end um, once again I'm just going to light this as well um, once again it just stops it all free and it makes it a lot easier for me to push this through here and then again I'm going to push it right through so I can see it and then I'm going to set this uh, little screwdriver it's just a flat headed one it's all broken on the end I just use it for this really I'm going to push that back through here, uh, I'm going to grab hold of it at the other side and I'm going to put a couple of knots in there and pull this back through as well. And again, one would probably do but you don't see it's going to go right back inside here in a minute and I'd rather know that it's not going to start coming off on me. I'll pull them two together and I'll just push this back through in here. You can see there, that's going to go right back inside there in a minute. I'll just push this back in a little bit further. That's got nice and tidy in there, we'll pull that in and now what we do is we take this and in one hand I kind of hold the, hold the pull cord so it's not going to shoot back in I've tied it, got, got hold of some tension on it and I'm going to release this clamp 
got hold of this pull cord with one hand. I've just got hold of it, I can feel it trying to pull its way back in. Uh, and what I'm going to do is just get everything lined up and just very slowly just let this take this back in here, making sure there's no twists or bumps in it. And that ends up about there. Let's test that. No messing about with the spring or anything like that. It's all retracting exactly as it should. And there's only one job left to do. Let's pop this recoil back on this mower and let's see if it runs. We'll just pop this back on here. Little tip, make sure this uh, spark plug, our ignition lead here that goes to this plug, actually sits in this notch here. You can catch it under here and you can actually break this. Um, this part on this side goes underneath. A little tip, when you take these uh, screws out, keep them in exactly the same side. I'm not sure if they're different lengths. I think the far side one through the exhaust is slightly longer. Um, so keep them all the right way around and put them all back in the same way. So what I do is I just put them back in ever so slightly just to start these off, just to get a bit of a turn on the thread. When you've got these loosely started like this, just get them all in like that. And don't put them in any further because you'll never get it lined up. Just do that and then we'll just tighten these up. And that's really all we've got to do. I've got a nice white, nice shiny new pull cord here. This actually fits underneath here. If you put it underneath here and then let go of it, it goes like that. Look, it doesn't go any other way. Then it pulls over. Nice, so the last thing we can do with this is we'll just uh, check there's nothing underneath this mower and we'll just make sure it starts this mower up. So let's just fire this mower up and make sure there's uh, no problems with it. Always make sure there's nothing underneath it as well. If you've done any repairs, you might have left tools there. So let's have a look. And we'll just pull this over and make sure it starts and recoils properly. There we go, it's as easy as that. I hope this video has helped you out. Not many tools needed as shown, it's only taken me five minutes to do that. There's no reason uh, anybody can't do that themselves. So minimal, minimal amount of tools that's needed there as well. So I hope this video has helped anybody out looking to replace the pull cord on a Mountfield petrol lawnmower. They're all pretty similar to this really as you go through the range of petrol lawnmowers. So don't be frightened of having a go at this. There's no need to replace any springs. I'll be honest, if I ever get to that stage where the spring's broken, I'll just do myself a big favour, save cutting my arms and my hands and try to rewind it, and I'll just pay for a new spring. It rarely, rarely happens on this Briggs & Stratton 35 classic engine, and that's all you need to do. Basically pull it out, clamp it, cut yourself a new bit of rope, burn each end, push everything back through, release the clamp, let it wind in slowly, refit the recoil, and there we go. You've got a brand new pull cord on your petrol lawnmower. Please subscribe to the videos, there's a link just below that says subscribe, I'd love you to do that, I'd love you to share the videos and hit like as well, or even leave me a comment. Thanks for watching, this is Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit. If you like what you see here, please take a look at the website repairinglawnmowersforprofit.com and I'll see you again shortly. Um, get yourself subscribed, we've well, 5,000 subscribers now and once again I thank you very much, see you shortly.